Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Um, I spent the day outside in my garden, or at least a large portion of it, because we're finally past frost warnings. So I was finally able to get my plant, most of my plant babies in the ground. And uh, I pulled a card for my community and uh, the timing of this one, I mean, I know there are people out there that need to hear it. I needed to hear it. So I will share it with you today. And the card, and of course it's reversed. <laughs> so this is the Herb Crafters Tarot for those who are wondering. The card is cannabis. And if you can read the word under there, it says justice. And it couldn't be more appropriate in the times that we're living. So what does cannabis remind us of? It reminds us to be seekers, to be seekers of knowledge and clarity, to be seekers of truth. And especially when we live in times where the truth may be shrouded or um, elusive or potentially even being hidden. Cannabis reminds us to dig, to continue to dig and to ask difficult questions, especially when there are potentially benefits from hiding the truth. Um, and like I said, that you know, this couldn't be a, a more appropriately timed video entry in this case. And so I'm going to tell you the story of cannabis for those who don't know and actually more specifically the story of hemp <clears throat> pardon me so until the like 1900s hemp was the predominant crop 75 percent of our paper products came from hemp this is an incredibly versatile plant it's almost completely drought and pest resistant it has um a number of uses. If you've ever bought hemp clothing before, then you know that its fibers can be used to weave cloth, it can be used to make paper, um, even uh, building materials can be made from hemp. And it has really incredible yields too. So when we think about the current environment in which we're trying to grow things in, um, climate is shifting and changing. Um, if you're living anywhere like we're living, you know, we, we're definitely going to have a drought summer, I can feel it but yet hemp would do quite well. Yet in the early 1900s, this plant was um, attacked for political reasons. Now, along with targeting um, minority people of color as well, those two things went hand in hand for political purposes. And this plant and the people who utilized the plant were targeted and criminalized. And to what end? For what purpose we have to ask ourselves and in many times these decisions make little to no sense they really don't they have no home in logic and are deeply rooted in political agendas like cannabis so you see where the story of cannabis comes in so there's no mistake that this plant is emerging that came it literally jumped out of the deck while i was shuffling and I really do make um, a concerted effort to connect to my community. I always do a, par a card poll for myself first, you know, to make sure that I'm not just reading into, you know, what I need. And like I said, this one came right out, jumped right out of the deck. And in the times that we're navigating in, in the world that we're currently living in, you know, she's here to remind us that there are imbalances in the world, especially politically. I mean, look at the history of hemp and we see the imbalances there and the politics that were around this particular plant. And cannabis is here also to remind us that the truth is worth seeking. It really is. And that what is good and just and true is worth seeking and worth fighting for. And as, um, a citizen of Canada and someone who lives in Ontario, I, I can't help but take comfort in the timing with the things that are happening where I live. Cannabis is, is needed medicine. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, in terms of its 
message and um, the spiritual growth it provides us. So in the end, this plant reminds us to be seekers. So seek we shall. I'll see all of you guys on the next video.